based on the mythical Nurari Hion of Japanese folklore and mythology. It is NRR Zero Hell Magnet, with the kits of Giga Gatling, Cross Shock, Meteor, Multi Legs, and the Leg Ability of Adversity, which buffs all leg stats, minus armor and heavy limit for every negative ailment applied to self. Now, as a new introduction and installment essentially to Metarot S's boss type series, as well as their Yokai series, in addition to other models like Beast Chimera, the Nue type, or Kokono Elegy, the, the Nine Tailed Kitsune type, it seems that Hell Magnet is most certainly maintaining a trend of not just packing a lot of powerful boss type appearances, but its stats as well are equally as scary and powerful, and most certainly make it a force to be reckoned with on the field. Giga Gatling is a shooting skill that has two conditional bonuses that make it an absolutely me major menace to society, but those are the fact that it grants a times 1.5 damage bonus if the user's legs are intact, and in addition to this, it also will grant passive defense ignore to the attack when attacking, which means it is arguably the most powerful of all currently available scattered AoE attacks, which means it will also damage one part normally, and then two others at random at one-third damage. Of course, with this major boost to its power and its damage, does also mean it is susceptible to no dodge and no defend penalties while in cooldown. So caution is most certainly advised if you are going to make use of this part. Right Arm of Cross Shock is a melee-based skill that is relatively new to the game, but Hell Magnet will be introducing the skill as a permanent addition to the game that is not exclusive to a collab-type bot. To explain Cross Shock, it is simply also a scattered AoE, much like Claw or Gatling, which means it'll damage one part normally and then two others at random at one-third damage, but what makes Cross Shock rather dangerous is the fact that it also is guaranteed critical hit every time you use it, no ifs, ands, or buts about it, which means it's rather fast and it's powerful despite being scattered with its damage. Meteor on the left arm it is its only major form of pierce damage, that is not a scattered AoE, but upon attacking the target with this gunpowder skill, it will set the user on fire and apply a DOT effect to self. However, it is also worth noting that Meteor will actually buff the base damage of Meteor every consecutive use as long as you remain on fire, unlike Flame, which is an ailment of, which is a mix of this and of course fire attacks, where it sets both on fire. Multi-ped legs means that it will have a pretty solid coverage across all terrains as arguably the next best leg under biped in terms of terrain matching, and pretty much across the board it is expected and rather obvious in many cases that this boss type is packing not just the boss appearance but also the specs to most certainly match it. A head armor of 4050, arms about 4000 and 3500 each, and the legs at 4400 means it is a very, very tanky bot across the board. Very powerful base power too, with Giga Gatling at 1742, uh, Cross Shock at 2068 base, and Meteor at 1425. Before any modifiers get added, it's already going to be hitting like an absolute truck the moment it hits the field. Its leg stats too are also incredibly well versed and very well rounded too, with the mobility of 861 definitely on the upper tier where multiped legs tend to sit at. An evade of 872 isn't bad, but for a boss type bulky model like this, evading definitely isn't one of its main emphasis points. But it is also packing a melee resist of 1439 and a shoot resist of 1456, both incredibly well-rounded numbers, which means it's bulky, it's heavy, and it has defense to keep its damage low as keep its damage as low as possible. All this being said, though, as a pure set score, I still do have to rate this model a pretty solid eight out of ten. It is very well-rounded for what it brings to the table, despite being a very largely scattered type of model in terms of its damage. But it actually synergizes with itself moderately well, depending on how you use it. Adversity and Meteor actually work very, very well together, as it means that upon being set on fire, it is essentially boosting its own leg stats by a certain amount, even if it isn't by much, just for having that, uh, that debuff applied to it. Plus, any enemy side, if the enemy side is packing any other ailments, such as Wave or Hold or Deathlock, the more negative ailments that Hell Magnet can pack, the more dangerous it becomes. Plus, Having Giga Gatling and Cross Shock means it does have a very powerful kit at its disposal, and still does have some pretty solid base damage despite being scattered AoE type parts. 
It is, though, worth noting that it is double heavy, which means that it's subject to the anti to uh, gravity weakness from break or break hammer. So some caution is encouraged if you are going to use it. As mixed parts, I do very easily have to rate him a very equal 8 out of 10 too, given that even though the parts by themselves have some pretty good synergy unto themselves, using the parts mixed as well are, isn't actually a bad idea either. The legs, of course, are very solid, especially if, the, if you can pack on an ailment with that, such as, well, Meteor in this case for Hell Magnet, but Cross Shock is generally a skill you really can't ever go wrong with using, and despite it being a heavy part, generally is most certainly worth going after just for that reason alone, for being a scattered AoE but also guaranteed crit every time. Giga Gatling you may or may not see use of depending on how you choose to use it or if you choose to use it at all, but across the board, again, Hell Magnet is very tanky, very chunky, and most certainly has the armor to keep damage as low as possible as long as he remains on the field.